Hey folks, welcome back to Medieval Minecraft Creations. Uh, kind of continuing from where we left off last episode. Um, in the slum district, I think we'll just finish it off today. Um, I'm just basically going to show you some of the things I've done. And I'm really not com completely done with it yet. Of little things you can add to sections of town like this that maybe give it a little more life or feeling to it. Because if you remember last episode, there really wasn't much uh, details. I just threw a bunch of houses down. You got some hills just to kind of give it some differentiation. And I made a couple towers, if you remember last episode. So this won't really be so much of a tutorial as it will be just showing you some things you can do. So off to the side of the, the road here, I actually made a small little market area. If you remember the market area that we did... Uh, probably from season one of the earliest of episodes if I remember right just basically making some little um, some little uh, enclosures for the uh, market people to have and I kinda went in and made the, the ground a little bit more looking like it's been used a little bit more so I just put some gravel in here and there you could probably also put a little bit of cobble in like it maybe used to be paved over and, and that's optional but um yeah, as you see here, I did make I made my generico wall. Uh, I may go back at some point and change things. I don't know if I uh, I want to keep everything the same or not. I remember I had a whole whole episode of that uh, <laughs> trying to figure out if I wanted uh, light wood or, or the dark uh, that dark nether brick kind of cover coloring to it. But um, I think we'll go by sections. It seems to work okay for that section. So, yeah, I have um, just little random paths that aren't even, like, the main paths. A lot of little garden areas, too, just to have them. They're mostly tiny. You can even do it for flowers. Throwing hedges here and there. Mainly just to trim some of the roads and the, and the small walkways as you go in here. That's sort of what I'm doing in that I had uh, two different, basically the same post with uh, some signs on it, uh, with blank, blank signs. Um, even just uh, throwing in the small ones like this for small gardens is fine, you know. Um, using these small half walls here and there like this, that's not a bad idea either. Uh, I wouldn't overkill it. I'm kind of wanting it to have like a kind of a jumbled look to it. I'm also kind of going in and doing stuff like this where the, uh, make the basement, make, well, it won't be a basement, but it makes it look like it's more supported if you extend the actual foundation a little bit more. And even just small, uh, little market areas like this, putting, uh, you know, small bushes and hedgerows under under windows and just kind of spreading it around. You don't even sometimes you don't even need need the fencing around it just to have this or even changing up the fencing with uh, the uh, the cobble fence that they have now, which is pretty nice. I I like it. Um, so I've really only got about half the village done with stuff like this. Um, as you can see, just throwing half like just partial fences here and there and uh, even now using this and it kind of gives the appearance that you have some sort of product you're selling in front of people's houses and also just again with the, with the, with the ground just kind of uh, making, uh, making it look like it's worn a little like people have actually used it and even just having single single hitching posts for the fences uh, that works too um, I, I guess really I could probably go in and uh, change this stuff like I said there was a glitch last episode uh, might do that and even making in some of these larger kind of uh, squares where there's a little bit larger opening I didn't want to overkill it with those towers so even just going in and uh, throwing in some small fields or maybe making up like a a little area that um, I don't know what you would call it but let's say you have like an area like this and you just want to um, hedge it all in or something you know 
Unfortunately, I don't want to get that close to the wall. The, the road. I kind of have it like one away. Yeah, I'm just sort of. So, another thing you could do is actually go in here and put some trees down in here also, but not over, again, not overkilling with trees. Um, <clears throat> and even just smaller hills. Which is what I'll do here. I'll let that grow naturally. Then when it's appropriate, throw in your, uh, your posts. Um, and you could also, like I was in some areas, I was replacing this with the, uh, one of these, like that. And, uh, again, with the signs, you can do the signs on the top, bottom, both. One side. However you want to do it. Lots of different ways to do this. And you can even come up with new designs. Obviously, you can also uh, use, like, um, wherever that is. I'm trying to find it now. Where is the lamp ones? Yeah, like the uh, glowstone or lamps or whatever. You can always uh, put those in. Instead of... Uh, of this that's all that looks nice too I'm hoping they give us a better lamp at some point um, this is actually glowstone for me I changed it to the uh, redstone lamp texture so people are wondering yeah I do customize my texture pack a little bit um, so this is what I intend to do like in this area here is a pretty large area I'm gonna I'm gonna do something in here I could put more houses if I really want to I figured I had enough houses. So a lot of it's going to be just landscaping stuff. And um, you could come up with like a, like a more elaborate wall, like a higher wall, to uh, block off your, your city sections. Like uh, perhaps, let's go, uh, like, you know, like a palisade or something. Just like a short sort of thing. I'm not sure I like this already, but just having stuff like like sort of like that. Um, and then going in and decorating it with different stuff. Um Personally, I would probably use the stone brick for this. So let's actually change that up on the bottom. I really wasn't intending to make this a long episode, but could actually do something like that. And that'll be the corner, and then you just kind of go off the other way. There's a million, there's a million possibilities here you guys can do, uh, you know, um, with stuff, oh, I actually have another idea with that, let's see, so not in all sections, but, uh, you can always do it like that, you can, this, this doesn't look right that close to the, the, the border, though. There's, there's there's other things you can do, but uh, yeah, I could always make that and they're extended down that way. Um, more trees, more houses, and really, I just I didn't want to make this a long one. I am going to come back and do the rest of this whole block at some point. I didn't have time to do it all, so I figured I'd just show you some of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And that'll have to hold you guys over. Next episode, I don't know if I'll show this. I think we'll go. We'll move on to uh, a new project somewhere. Uh, perhaps like I was, I I been making some more hills and uh, stuff out in the environment here, and scattering some more houses. So.
so I've been taking some of those houses and I you've seen me and I've got some around here about uh, making fields just here and there then putting some of these houses that we made in that slum district out here also just random little homes but you're gonna have to kind of go through the same thing you're, you're going through with those is like kind of make some details around the home you know like how we do here I made like a chicken coop and a small little farm and it's like next to a big farm um, so stuff like that you know that's that's what we're gonna we could work on uh, this didn't quite turn out the way I hoped oh well alright um, next time I don't know well we'll see uh, matter of signing off adios guys